So Diablo 3 PTR 2.7.7 preview. Welcome Nephilim. December 5th to the 12th, we'll need you to help test um, balance changes for all classes and two returning season themes. We're getting two seasonal themes coming back, man. Um, and they're being permanently added to the game. So we're getting the rights of sanctuary and the visions of inimity. So we all know the rights of sanctuary, which is the last big season, which was season 28, which was huge. That's going to be permanently added to the game. We already knew that was coming. And then we got visions of inimity, which is, I don't remember that one. Is that, was that last season, right? That was last season, right? Chat pretty sure it is, but let's, let's scroll down and take a look. Based on the positive community feedback, we saw the season themes were such a hit. We decided to make them permanent. So you can harness the might from the altar of rights. And then the, the diabolical fissure. So we're getting the one from season 29 permanently added. And then there's some class balancing that's coming in. And then a PTR unique buffs. Increased EXP gains and double blood shard drops. Just to make it easier for you guys to test things out. So testing tips. Because of the limited duration of the PTR... We act that you, or they're asking us that we pick a particular portion and focus on, right? Instead of trying to do everything. So the permanent features we already know, right? We got all this stuff that's really added from the fissures. And then all of these are um, the quote unquote uh, affixes that are applied to the monsters within those portals, which is pretty cool. So they got some changes on those, which is kind of neat. Um, then class balance changes. Let's see what they did. Barbarian, Mita Earth. That damage was decreased to 20,000 as if anybody used this stuff for um, damage anyway. Nobody really plays Mita the Earth, which sucks. But And then Raycar, even though that was um, an actually a pretty strong build. Let's see what they did. Hitting enemies with ferocious charge or weapon though increases the damage of your next spear. Ooh, they increased it um, like they by more than double. Oh, my God. And it causes to release multiple spears from its target. This affects stacks, and each spear throw consumes a maximum of five stacks. That's huge for that build. Uh, very, very strong. Crusader, Roland's Legacy, increase the damage of Shield Bash and Sweep Attack to 40,000% from... Wait, what? Wow, they increased the damage two times, 2.5 times almost, to 40,000. And then Aegis Valor, my favorite Crusader build. Increase the damage of Fist of the Heavens from 15,000% to 20,000. Thank you, devs. Um, then we got the Aconset. The Blush Shield has been increased as well as the it's reduced. Okay, Blade of Prophecy. Condemn no longer triggers Condemn's Explosion. And the damage of Condemn is increased by 6 to 18 or 800%. That's kind of cool. Faithful Memory. Each enemy hit by Falling uh, Sword increases the damage of Blessed Hammer. That's pretty cool. Demon Hunter, here we go, man. Demon Hunter mains, where are you at? Uh, Shadow Mantle, which is the Impale with the dagger. Impale's additional damage increased to 120,000% weapon damage from 75%. Holy crap. Now, that's to the first enemy. And then it increases to 40,000% from 25,000%. Holy crikey, dude. Shadow Mantle got buffed. Holy crap, dude. This is insane. Embodiment of the Marauder, which is the trap build. Your primary skills. Okay. Now deals 6,500% increased damage. Um, previously, 12,000 for every. Wait. Your primary skills. And sentries now deal... So this was a nerf. So they nerfed Marauder. That sucks, but holy crap, dude. Shadow Mantle, wow. Monk, Raymond, Man, they're still really trying to work on this one. And Yulana's. These builds just really just don't work, man. Um, I really like that your Spirit Generators increase the weapon damage of the Strike for 60,000. Um, and increases damage of your Spirit Generators by 14 instead of 6. Like, this is nice, but it's just still not a big enough bonus to make the build, like, really anything good. Uh, same thing with exploding palm damage, only going up by three and a half, uh, you know, thousand percent is just not good. Uh, when and then uh, Kyra shows blade. When the initial impact of your wave of light hits five or fewer enemies, previously three, the damage is increased. Oh, okay, so this is actually kind of nice. This, that makes a uh, wave of light 
Definitely better. Let's check out Necro. Big changes. Coming to Necro. Pestilence. Each corp grants you an empowered bone spear charge that increases the damage of your next bone spear by 6,000% from 3,300%. It's about time that they're buffing bone spear in Diablo 3. It needs to be one of its main builds and one of the strongest. In addition, Corpse Lance and Corpse Explosion damage is increased. This is actually really nice if you want to play any Corpse Lance builds. Anaris, I'm actually a very big fan of this build. Um, or the set, it just never had his due diligence, man. It just never was strong enough, right? It uh, Bone Armor is also going to activate a Swirling Tornado of Bone. So that means you'll have two damaging nearby enemies for 1,000% weapon damage and increasing the damage they take from Necromancer to 90,000% from 10. This is a huge buff. I actually really like this because there was already like the Swirling Tornado. or You won't get two, actually. It's still one, but... Um, Big buff there. Kind of nice. It'll make it a little better. Tragools, which is still one of the best builds. Your life spending abilities deal increased damage. Previously 10,000. So it's actually a nerf. That sucks. Masquerade, Bone Spear, cast by Union Sting Lacrims, deal 5,500 increased damage. Previously 9,000. Simulacrums gain. Wait. So they buff it here. They buff it here, but they nerf it here. Yikes, man. Necros just can't catch a break. Uh, Blood Tide, Death Nova does this um, up to 10 enemies. Previously, it was 25. Oh, so this is a huge nerf because every 25 enemies would give it more damage. Now it's only 10. That's a huge nerf. Andrea, what's up? Uh, Grasp of Essence. When an exploded corp damages at least one enemy, your corpse explosion deal increased damage. Corpse Winder, Pauldrons. Man, they did so much here. It's okay. Uh, let's check out Witch Doctor here. Jade set, Soul Harvest reduces damage taken uh, instantly, dealing. Oh, okay, so they buffed jo Jade Harvester. That's nice. Helltooth, after casting Wall of Death, gain increased damage. Previously, wow, twenty thousand percent increased damage. Wow, that's huge for Helltooth. Oh my god. And then, of course, my favorite set, Munga Duga Duga Duga, Spirit Barrage deals. So they nerfed it. Plus an additional equal. So they nerfed it by 5%. That, or 5,000. That sucks. The uh, spirit build, which is all your pets. The damage of your creature skills is increased by 11,500% per previously 25,000%. Is this just a big nerf? What is going on with the set? Wow. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Let's check out Wizards, man. Because you know everybody played Wizard. Let's check this out. Um... So, Magnum Opus, enemies affected by slow time for five seconds after taking, after, or after exiting, take 20,000% increased damage previously. So, they buffed that, which is actually really nice. Talrashas, attacks increase your damage by 1% or 1,000%. Previously, it was 2,000% for eight seconds, and it stacks four times. Wow, so they nerfed it slightly. Tyrosh's is still going to be super powerful, but um, they, they just, small nerf, it's still going to be super strong. Smoldering Core, which is the staff. Lesser enemies are now lured to your meteor impacts, dealing meteors deal 40 to 50% increased. On consecutive hits on the same target, this stacks up to three times previously 10. Oh my God, that's a huge nerf. That's a huge nerf right there. Oh my God. Okay, I take it back, man. Tal Rashes is getting a huge nerf. And then Twisted Sword, energy twister damage is increased for each enemy energy twister you have out. Up to maximum three, previously five. So they reduced how many energy twisters you can do um, to merge with three additional twisters. Oh, okay. So the Raging Storm Room is automatically applied and allows the tornado to merge with three additional energy twisters. So this actually might be a little better, but wow, dude. Nerf and Talrashes. Big nerfs here, man. Big nerfs. Big nerfs. How to participate. They show that. And then PTR copy character. They know how to do that. So here's all the changes coming to season 30 um, in Diablo 3. Um, now, I know this is actually really cool. I'm really glad that they're... We already knew that they were permanently adding... Um, the altar, but now we're getting the the little portals, which I actually really liked from last season, which were super cool. It would just added another element to farm and just have a different experience in the game. 
However, even though that we are going to be playing um, Diablo 3 in all the new seasons, these seasons are not new. So, depending on what the... Uh, Basically, the rewards and cosmetics are. I'll probably go test some of this out. I will not be participating in the PTR only because besides a few of these changes, nothing is actually new. So depending on what the rewards are going to be from uh, season 30, as far as like the pets and stuff, I don't know if they're going to bring any old one backs, any old pets or wings and cosmetics back, or they're just going to continuously do new ones. We'll find out soon enough. But here's the um, all the notes on Diablo 3 season 30 from the ptr for 2.7.7 for season 30 this starts actually tomorrow day of recording is december 4th so guys like the video comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the ptr and diablo 3 even if you're still playing i know there's still a big portion of the community that loves diablo 3 and where it's at um as far as its game state which i think is very very good so a lot of people are still really really enjoying this and i still need to get the rainbow wings i'm still on the hunt so i really have to chalk out some time for that so we'll probably get it uh, December 5th to the 12th is the PTR. We'll probably participate um, towards the end of the week after we get Arbiter of Zir done. But for now, this is what it is, guys. Link to this will be down in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.